it's it's hard to you know pinpoint things with a three nothing victory. Um, there'll come a time where we sit back and and really evaluate you know what we did wrong that game. It'll be a point where we lose and we say we've got to figure things out. Um, but tonight I was very happy with everybody's performance. Um, the defenders will go back and watch where our line was on free kicks, where our line was when the midfielders had the ball. Should we have dropped more? Should we not have dropped more? Things like that that we can always improve on. Um, some of that is just what we did well also, and you can learn from that. So um, not too much tonight. Uh, I spoke to Juan Agudelo just recently. He mentioned your name and, and said that you played a position that you've played it for a long time. Uh, what did you and the unit do to kind of cancel out Juan Agudelo out of the game today? Um, uh, that's a great question. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing back there. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I think I think Juan w likes to play a post-up game, and so he wants to, you know, back into you and, and and use your body. And I think if you just give him a little bit of space and make him think about what he has to do after he's posted you up, it's advantageous for the defender. You know, you've kind of done your job in in nullifying his whether it's a flick on or whether it's him bringing the ball down. Then he's got to worry about connecting the next pass. So, you know, I thought I still thought he did well. You know, he he, he battled hard. He he connected well. Um, unfortunately, he didn't get the balls from his midfielders that he needed to in scoring positions. So, um, that's a testament to our outside backs and what our midfielders did tonight. Not necessarily what what Chad and I did. Getting the three goals and then shutting out the Eastern Conference reigning Eastern Conference champions. How does that set the tone for the season? Yeah, I think. Uh, you know, we, we always look back, I look back at the past, you know, seven games and the uh, home openers and anytime we win a game, it's always a good starter to the season. Um, it doesn't necessarily guarantee you success, but it definitely gives you confidence and, and you get those jitters from the first game out of the way. And uh, I think everybody's feeling confident um, and I would expect nothing less from this group of guys. Not a lot of turnover uh, from last year. And, you know, like I said, the culture stays the same on this team. We're playing in front of our fans. When we have these games at home opening the season, you have to take advantage of them because they're not, you're not going to get these games back. You know, there's, you're always going to look at a part of the season now where we've got two games probably on the road in, in a row since we've got these next two at home. So you've got to take advantage of them when you got them. You've got to have a good home record. Playing to zero is important. Um, overall, a great night. Moving into the center back position, um, how is that like in working with such a close friend such as Chad Marshall? Yeah, it's great. You know, he, he knows exactly what he's doing back there. So for me, I don't, I don't have to worry about what the guy next to me is doing because I know, I know he's making the right decision 99% of the time. And, you know, it, that gives me confidence to just focus on myself and, and how I kind of see the game playing as a center back. So there's things I learn from him, but also know that, you know, I, I've got to play that position how I think it should be played also. And when, I'm, when I, you know, mess up, which I will, and, and I did, um, he's the first one to say, you need to do this or you need to do that. And that's the part about being, you know, good friends more than anything is that nothing is taken to heart. We all, we all want to win. We want to keep it to zero. Um, there'll be times where we get into it this year for sure. Um, but at the end of the day is, is I don't have to worry about him. I know, I know he's doing the right thing all the time. Watching Clint and Oba just the pick up pretty much right where they left off um, last year, just that chemistry. How does it compare to where they were at at this point last season? Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't remember where they were this season, but, you know, I think Clint having a full preseason with us and Oba at the same time is you, you can only benefit from that. Um, and they look great tonight. You know, they, they cause so much trouble. It's, it's insane keep those two guys healthy and again we give ourselves a great chance at, at going to MLS Cup but like anybody will tell you it's one game at a time and, and we've got another big one next week against a you know a revamped San Jose side that's looking you know they're going to be hungry and they're going to want to you know get off to the right foot and and uh, right the ship after after yesterday's performance you know that late loss in, in Dallas so they're going to come out hungry and you know it's going to be a battle.